Hey, it's you. Hi, is it, is it a bad time? No. Come on in. Just seeing if there's any new evidence in the Truman case. Uh, actually, I've been thinking about you lately. A little. A lot. I'm sorry I haven't come by sooner to check on you. I, I should have. It's okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm real good. I'm hoping to get out of here and get back to work. Please. So, um... What's going on? I want to talk to you about Spencer. You think I killed him? Do I think you killed Spencer? John, how could I ever think that about you? Not so far-fetched. Yes, it is. Spencer was stabbed multiple times. If you had stabbed him, you would have done it once, and you would have been staring at him square in the eye so that he knew exactly what was happening. True. Besides, I've, I've kind of been keeping tabs on you, and I've heard you're not up to making it to the hospital on your own yet. Hey, buddy. Hey. You must feel cheated. Well, like you said, I would have wanted to look him in the eye. I was hoping Spencer's death might have given you some peace. No, it hasn't. Spencer is dead. That doesn't give you any peace at all. I'm glad he'll never hurt anyone else, but he didn't pay nearly enough. You mean death was too easy? Way too easy. Well, for me, there is some solace in knowing that Truman will never be a threat. You know, this whole thing, I wanted to... I want to do this for my dad, you know? But he would have done it by the book. He would have hated anybody that took the law into their own hands. Oh, I understand that. You know, in his faith, murder isn't just a crime, it's a mortal sin. I'm nowhere near as noble as my old man. Not even close. Hey. I haven't been able to see any of the reports yet, but according to one of the officers, they didn't find anything at the murder scene. Which means that, so far, whoever murdered Spencer is in the clear. It's, uh, it's Natalie. Apparently there was no hard evidence in the murder scene. Yeah. Thanks. Probably not very good. <laughs> yeah, I remember. But you know, there's no such thing as a perfect crime. You taught me that. So I'm sure something will turn up, especially because it doesn't appear to have been premeditated, so... Well, you got what you deserved. Anyway, I, uh, I heard about these arson charges against Chris. I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. And it doesn't look good. I mean, the evidence against him is mounting. The police found blueprints and photos of Vincent's properties on Christian's laptop. They, they found fireproof gloves at his studio with traces of turpentine on them. He's being set up, but who? Why? I don't know. I don't know, but I know he's innocent, and so I'm going to stand by him, no matter what. When you commit, it's 100%. 110. Either way, he's a lucky guy. How am I? And how are you and Natalie? Been through a lot. But it doesn't look like it's lighting up anytime soon. Sure. You and Natalie are having problems? It's been tough for both of us dealing with my recovery. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm sure. You know, if you ever want to talk about that. I don't. Yay. It really is you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you change your mind about that, you know, I am a very good listener. I remember. Sorry. No, by all means. Ah, it's Nora. Hey, Nora. What's up? Hi, Evangeline. Where are you? I'm actually at John's. But I'll be right in. Oh, well, give him my best, will you? I will. Listen, um, instead of coming to the office, will you meet me at the diner? Okay. I'll be right there. That was Nora. I, uh... Oh. You have to go. Okay. I would, uh... Tell her I said hello. She actually wishes you her best. Okay. Sir. And I will, you know, I'll, I'll let you know about any developments in the Truman case. Sure. You know, I, uh, just between us, there's a part of me that hopes we never find out who did this. I mean, I want to find the killer. So you can thank him? Maybe understand why he or, or she did it. Well, I guess I should go. Okay. Um, thanks for coming by. Thanks for letting me know you were thinking about me. No worries. Why'd you want me to meet you here? Um, I, I'm not real comfortable with what I'm about to ask you for, and so I thought it would be best if we did it outside the office. All right. Okay. You know, this this is about the ongoing investigation of Christian and, and your role in it. I don't have a role in it. Antonio and I are off the case. Yes, I know, but even so. Um, uh, Vincent's lawyers are making a lot of noise, and the mayor has asked me to make sure the district attorney's office um, doesn't appear compromised in any way. What are you saying? I'm asking you not to appear in public with Christian until he's been officially cleared. You can't ask me to stay away from Christian. Okay, it wouldn't be forever. I don't care if it's for five minutes. I will not treat him like he's some sort of a criminal. And I will not let anyone think that I don't want to be seen with him. All right, I understand your I reaction. mean, why don't you just ask me to break up with him if we're going to make the mayor happy here? I mean, Nora, come on. You can't possibly think the mayor has a leg to stand on him. Well, yes, I do. Are you kidding it's me? It's about integrity. You know, about the Landview Police Department, Bo, me, the DA's office, you're putting us all at risk. What, by being seen in public with a man I love? There's a serious investigation going on here. If the press should snap a picture of you and Christian cozying up at Capitol Cozying Any up. picture of you and Christian out in public can be misinterpreted by the tabloids. We can't afford that right now. The DA's office has taken enough hits as it is. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. You, you've got to see that. What I see is that you guys don't give a damn about my integrity oh. or about innocent until proven guilty but maybe that's some sort of cliche that we just don't pay attention to anymore now you're overreacting no. I've already been ordered off the case and I signed a press release stating that I will not be told what I can and cannot do in my private life by, by you or by anybody else okay, that's all the mayor wants you to do is keep your business private is that all? uh, no, actually it's not What else? He would like you to issue another press release stating that you back the actions of the police department and the DA's office completely. <sighs> I know it's overkill, but I promised him I would ask you, please don't check down my throat. You know what? You can tell the mayor exactly what he can do with this press release. That went 